So let's say you want to export a comment separately and not attach it with a PDF file. Let's say uh, both the parties have the PDF file already and you just want to email a comment. In order to do that, you can use something called a data file. In order to import and export a data file, you can simply go over here. Let me add in some comments right here. So I'm going to go over here and let's say I want to add in a comment. So let's say something like change uh, this text into a larger font, something like this. And over here, I'm going to add in another comment over here, just like this. So let's say this question can be more difficult, just like this. All right, so I have my comments right here. I can add in my annotations as well, such as this and so forth. So I got my annotation over here. So now in order to save this as a data file, I can export this by going over here. And over here, you can see that uh, on this three icon, you, you can see that you can export everything into a data file. So let me click on export all data file right here. In my case, I'm going to save it on my desktop and you can see that this is being saved as an FDF format. So let me just click on save. Once I do that, I'm going to go on to my desktop and over here, you can see that this is the FDF file. And compared to a uh, full PDF file, this is only few KB uh, big, as you can see right there. So it saves a lot of space. So if the end party already has your PDF document, then you can simply say, I send this file right there. So let me just close this document and open it again uh, without the day file over here. So there's, there you can see that there's nothing over here. Now, if you want to import the data file, what you can simply do is you can go over here into common. You can go over here and then you can import data file right here. So once you do that, you can click on the FDF file format, press open, and the highlight, the comments are all there. So if you just want to email the comment to someone who already has the PDF document, then you can simply use this technique. So that's how you can import and export data file uh, using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.